What's going on? This is UBI, Strange Music Sess Crew, and we are here talking to Hip Hop DX, man. How do I feel? I mean, I don't know, man. It's good. It's, it's, I've, it's definitely a good feeling. You know what I mean? It's a, a constant energy struggles has been a vehicle to take us so many different places. It's, we're now on our third national tour um, because of this record. Uh, and we've just been everywhere and talked to everybody. We're here with y'all, you know what I mean, at the Hip Hop DX offices, and, and we've been talking to, to Be Real's camp later for Dr. Green Thumb. Um, just today, you know, that just happens to be having it today or whatever, but I really feel like Constant Energy Struggles is taking us where we're going right now. And it's the setup for what's about to happen, our next one codenamed Ego Stripper, and it's just been everything, dude. It's, it was definitely the game-changing record um, in our career, for sure. I, uh, uh, yep, been having a lot of fun, and uh, I'm still uh, super hungry and got a lot of ideas and uh yeah I'm just I'm just eager to move on to the next thing I'm eager for Ego Stripper to drop and to, to push that and continue touring that and I'm super confident in that project and I just want to start on the next thing and uh yeah and change change the face of the game change 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 it up for strange diversify the music and uh just leave dope music for the fans I mean and if and if we do that with the snake and bad the entire time then that's what it is I'm just honored that Tech picked us up, and I just want to do right by the label, make dope music, continue to have a lot of fun, and try to enjoy it to the fullest. I'll say that I'm out of touch with Kansas City in a way that I haven't been before, and that has a lot to do with just being absent. You know, we're just in other places, working in other markets all the time. And so uh, we're about to find out. We haven't done a headlining show in Kansas City since um, the summer of 2012. It was the last time we headlined. Other than that, we've been um, we've been working with tech. We're always you know we're always playing with tech and shit. And so we have one on July fifth on this tour that we're on on right now. So we'll find out what's what's waiting for us in Kansas City. Um, and I can tell you for sure that we get recognized now. Yeah. More so than we did. Um, we always had this little bit of like local like ghetto celebrity in this little pocket of, called Midtown in the middle of Kansas City. But now it seems to be like the entire city. I can, oh, yeah, you could be anywhere. Yeah, I could be in the suburbs, I could be in the ghetto, I could be at the post office, I could be at the Walgreens, I could be at the movie theater, I could be at the amusement oh, park. Dog. These are all real places I've been ran up on. You know, dude. like it's just, it just goes down. That's crazy, dude. I shit, anybody from like, you know, little kids and like grown ups, like OGs, uh, a cop, the most random thing. You know what I mean? I'm walking down <laughs> yeah. the street with my homegirl in this paddy wagon <laughs> and the cops yelling out the window and I'm like, you know, like, what's going on? He parks, and he comes back around, and he jogs up to me. He's like, man, will you take a picture with me, man? And my son will never believe me, and we're huge fans. I'm like, sure. You know what I mean? My homegirl snaps the picture, and he's like, while we're standing there posing, he's like, is this weird because I'm a cop? I'm like, yep, absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Took that picture. But that's what he said. He was like, man, my son will never believe me, dude. We're big fans. And I'm like, whoa. That just says something about the reach and the range of the music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's so weird. Yeah. The kind of music that I listen to especially during the album creation process, is not really hip hop. Like I don't, I listen to a bunch of other genres. And so, yeah, I try to, I try to keep my finger on that, but it's, it's, it's really hard to like stay on top of all the genres at the same time because they evolve really quickly. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, you know, it's a lot to keep track of. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I, th I, I love other genres of music and I feel like our, our new album is influenced by some odd genres. You'll hear some sounds you haven't heard from us, once again, um, we do some fusion music occasionally. So there's there's some cool stuff on there to, to check out on the new one that we just did. Yeah, August 5th, dude, uh, hey, there's a there's a reggaeton joint on our it's album tight. that it's features tight. Tech 9 called Power Play that is pretty cool. Um, so that's, I mean, that's, that's a new sound that you haven't heard us do before. Um, and I've been waiting to do it and we finally did it. And so that's just, that's just one, you know, just for an example. Um, but yeah, I love, e I love all the different genres. We did an EDM song with this dude called The Phantom in our, in our market and it, people really liked that shit mm -hmm. over like a kind of like house beat or whatever, it was dope.